guys, so today I have a collective haul for you that I've purchased probably over the last two weeks or so. Um, I have used a couple of these things just trying them out. Some are repurchases, but mostly all new products. And they're from a couple different places, so there's quite a few things. I'm gonna just stop rambling and get into it. <laughs> there's two places that I just got one thing at each, so I'm just gonna go over those quickly and then go to the other places. So the first place is Walgreens, where I got this nail polish. It's from the Kylie Jenner collection with Simple Colors. So it's the Simple Colors uh, Kylie Shimmer Matte Polish in VI Peach Trend Matters Angel? I don't know, there's like five names on this. Not sure. Anyways, it's really pretty. I'm not sure if you can see in the close-up or not, but there is kind of like a goldeny shimmer going through it. It's just like a nude peach color, and yeah, I really like it. I haven't tried this yet, so I will post a picture on my Instagram or something. If you guys want to see that, just let me know in the comments below. And the next place that I just got one thing at was Marshalls, and I got this gift set, which I know was at like Christmas time, and it's the Best of Kitten makeup set. It's the Stila and Bobble Bar like collaboration. So it came in this little makeup bag, and then there is four makeup products and a bracelet. Bracelet just comes in this little pouch, and it is really cute. It looks like this. It has like studs and like every fourth stud has little gemstones on it, so it's really cute. Up, oh, it's really my style, so I like this and I've already worn it. <laughs> Next is the Stila Lip Glaze in the color Kitten, of course. Um, I don't know if I will ever wear this. It's kind of a nice color, but it feels like it's thick. And I haven't heard the best things about the Stila Lip Glosses. I'll definitely try it out, but yeah, I didn't really buy it for this. <laughs> The next thing is this Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the color Gilded. This is a gorgeous gold color, but it's broken. Like, I used it once, and then, like, I swatched it, and I can't get it to go up anymore. So that's really sad. Hopefully I can fix it, because I really like it. It's a gorgeous color. And if you watched one of my last videos, I mentioned about how I don't have a gold liner, so... That would be perfect if it works. <laughs> the next thing is this Stila All Over Shimmer, and it's in Kitten Shimmer. It is like a cream highlighter, I wanna say. It looks really pretty, but I've tried it, and I couldn't really notice it. It kinda just gives you like a nice, subtle glow. Um, I don't know, like, it's so, so, so far. <laughs> and the last thing, of course, is the Stila Kitten Eyeshadow, and I, believe it or not, have never owned this before, and of course, everyone's seen this before. It's gorgeous, it's very shimmery, I'm wearing it on the inner corners of my eyes right now, and yeah, it's absolutely stunning. So but yeah, I'm really excited that I found that at Marshalls. So then, the last two places that I went was Walmart and Target, and I got quite a few things at both places. So, I'll start with Walmart. Um, the first thing, I got two packs of these. It's the Salon Perfect Go Glam 615 lashes. Nicole Guerrero loves these, and I just think they're really pretty, and I just wanted to try them out, and they're only like $3, so that's why I bought two. <laughs> Next, which I've worn several times, I'm wearing right now, and oh god, it's just so good. It's this Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is just in light bronzer. I heard there's two colors, I'm not really sure, I've only seen one. But it is like super silky smooth. It's a perfect, like, neutral color bronzer, I wanna say. It's not too warm, not too cool toned. It's really good for fair skin, and it smells like a tropical vacation. It's amazing. Amazing. And I purchased another one of the Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel. Yes, nail polishes. This is in the color Pretty Peas, like, you know green peas. Cutest thing ever. It's like a minty color. I haven't worn this yet either, but I really like the formula. Um, if you watched my last haul, I, pur I purchased another one of these for the first time, so I really like the formula. I figured I'd give a different color another try, so yeah. Lastly, it's just a repurchase. Um, it's the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. I haven't used this yet, but I really need to. Um, I kind of been waiting for this video because I didn't want it to look all nasty when I showed it. Kind of like a chapstick with sand is what I want to say. Um, <laughs> it basically, like, you just rub it on your lips and it exfoliates and it works really well and it's only $3. So, last place I went was Target and I got quite a few things there. First, I pitched... Ugh. First, I picked up this e.l.f. blending brush. It said it was new. I don't know if it is. <laughs> I haven't used it yet, but it's kind of like a, a thinner blending brush. To me, it seems more like a, like a lid brush. I repurchased the Duo 
eyelash adhesive in clear. I have the dark tone. I tried to purchase the clear tone and purchased another dark tone because I'm a dummy. <laughs> so I actually got the clear tone this time. Then I got the Maybelline Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. And this one is in the prime and matte base. You can get prime and like glitter or something. I don't know. There's three different kinds. This does definitely have a tint to it and it's darker than my skin tone but it's not too bad. And I've only used it once so I'm not really sure like about how well it performs or anything like that but I'm excited to test it out because I do not have an eyeshadow primer from the drugstore that I like so far. And the last products are all from NYX. I picked up this baked blush. This is baked blush plus illuminator plus bronzer so I don't know what that's all about but this is in the color four play and it's like a peachy pink kind of color. Definitely has like glitter in it but I don't think it really shows up on your cheeks. Then I decided to pick up this eyeshadow palette because I've heard many people rave about it. It's the NYX Avant Pop 10 color shadow palette and this is in Nouveau Chic. They are absolutely gorgeous. They feel so smooth when you touch them like they're just really pigmented, super creamy to, to the touch and I've been playing around with this and I really like it so far. I haven't really dipped into the, like, the dark colors but I really like this like lilac-y purple and then of course all these neutrals. This um, bronzy kind of goldy color is stunning. So yeah, if you guys want to see eyeshadow looks with this, please let me know because I would love to film some. Then I decided to try this concealer. It's the NYX Got You Covered Concealer. It's waterproof. And I got the color Ivory. It's a thick concealer. I've used it about three times. I'm I'm wearing it right now. Um, it has good coverage. I'm not, like, I don't, I haven't really paid attention to whether, like, it wears well or anything like that. And I definitely haven't used it under my eyes. I don't think that I will because of the consistency of it. More so for spot concealing. So, so far it's been you know, working fine. And there's two more products. They're both lip products from NYX. The first one is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the color Tea and Cookies. In my last Ipsy bag, I got another one of these. My first one, it's called Kitten Heels, and it's a gorgeous red, and I really like the formula. Just, so I decided to pick up another one. This is just a really, like, pretty mid-tone pink. And the last lip product that I got is this NYX Ombre Lip Duo. This is in the color Ginger and Nutmeg. So on one side, it is a brown lip liner, and on the other side, it's, like, a creamy like lip pencil type of product and you're supposed to be able to do like an ombre lip with it. I've only tried it once and I think I put on way too much of the liner because it was really dark and I didn't love it but I'm definitely going to play around with it. I think that's it for my collective haul. I hope you guys liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and I would love if you subscribed if you haven't already. The button is down below. I will also list all the products that I mentioned in this video down below and all my social media as always and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, so today I filmed an updated brow routine for you guys. It's been a while since I filmed one of these and yep, those are my brows. Yep, and I did those. Hey guys, so today I filmed this hair tutorial for you. It's a Nina Dobrev inspired look. It's called a unicorn braid as I've seen online. So 